Okay, today is Friday, May the 14th. Um, on Monday, we will kind of need to be finishing up all of our computer work as much as possible because they're going to start taking up computers from traditional students. Um, virtual students, you can keep your computers through the following Monday, which is the 24th. All right, um, I'm going to go over Google Classroom with you, some of the things that you have to work on, and we're going to make sure that everybody knows what to do. So let's go to the stream tab first. Um, it says grades are being updated in iNow daily. Um, I will tell you that last night I did not do any grading whenever I got home from school. Um, I chose to spend some time with my family, but I am continuing to grade and update grades today. They should be updated by third period around 1030 ish. Um, and I will continue to grade on a daily basis. All right. Uh, classwork right here. If you have not completed the grade notification form, that is a top priority. It is a very easy 100 for you. Um, let's move down here. Your check-in form. If you will do this for me every day, I will use what I can from this to show that you've checked in and you've participated to kind of help out with some of your other grades. All right, uh, right down here. All right, under the Cyber Patriot tab, I have the last of your Cyber Patriot assignments posted. Um, yes, they are new, but yes, they are very short. I'm going to go over them with you. Um, Cyber Patriot Unit 3, Computer Basics and Virtual Machines. It says open and read the PDF. The PDF is right here. It's like a PowerPoint presentation, but in a PDF form. Uh, you're going to take notes. Yes, you can copy and paste text from that into your notes if you want to, but please use highlighters and things like that once you get them over there to show that you actually interact with the text, not just copy and paste. Um, you're going to put it on a Google Doc, and when you're finished, you're going to turn in the Google Doc. After you have finished the notes, go to the Quizlet vocabulary for this unit and study the words. Here's the Quizlet vocabulary right here. Um, let's go through here. You have some flashcards. Um, on you can click on the flashcard and it will show you a picture with these. This one, I found one that had pictures with it and then um, definitions. All right, pictures and definitions, the same thing for this one, picture and definition. You can study these words. After you do that, you're going to go to Cyber Patriot Unit 3 Quiz. And this is a quiz on the Teacher Made app where you go in and you answer the questions. Um, you can use this right here has the same words as this Quizlet. You can use this to help you if you like. Um, I know that we're covering material quickly, so I don't mind you using the Quizlet to help you. When you're done, you come back here, you type in your grade in the private comments box, and then you mark as done or turn it in. It works exactly the same way for Cyber Patriot Unit 4. Here's your PDF file. Take notes on a Google Doc. Go study the words right here. And then after you study the words and you have your Google Doc ready to turn in, you click Turn In. And you can still use your words there to take your quiz for Cyber Patriot Unit 4. All right, Cyber Literacy. Um, you already had Chapter 3 and Chapter 16 under this tab, and you need to work on those. You need to make sure that those get submitted. Read the instructions on each one and turn in the assignments. All right, for Chapter 4, 5, and 6, these are very short activities. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to open and read the PDF. Here's a PowerPoint if you want to look at it. This is the reading, and you may need the reading because you're going to define the key terms. All you're going to do for these particular things is define the key terms and then turn that in. Uh, well, don't turn it in yet. You're going to define them on here because I put the quiz with it. It says you will be able to use these terms and documents on the quiz. After you have read and defined the key terms, click on the quiz link. When you finish the quiz, type your score in the private comments box. Here's the quiz right here. So again, you're going to create a Google document 
and take a quiz. You're going to tell me the quiz grade in the private comments box and you're going to click mark as done. It works exactly the same way for chapter five and chapter six. All right, these are short assignments. I made them short purposely so that all you have to do is define the key terms, use the notes, and take it a little 10 question quiz. Um, the main reason we have these right here is just to give you a little more information, information that I didn't have to begin with as far as what, you know, I wanted to cover with you guys. But I just want to give you at least, at the very least, an overview of these things right here. Uh, chapter 3, Chapter 16, you've already had. Read the instructions on each one of those and do those assignments. Your cell phone policy, if you have not done that, please take care of it. These past due assignments now, it says remember to view more. Remember there's a lot of them, so you have to view more and then you have to view more again. The Make sure that you see reflection 15 broken crayons at the very bottom and you'll know that you have everything on here. The past due assignments now, the best grade that you can make on them is a 70. Full credit is no more on these. The best grade that you can make is a 70 because I've given you multiple opportunities to make them up. They are extremely old assignments. So a 70 is being generous. I don't even technically need to allow you to make them up or have to allow you to make them up. But I'm choosing to allow you to make them up. So please turn them in because a 70 is better than a zero. All right. Um, I cannot think of anything else that I need to go over with you on here. Uh, you need to make sure that you're turning in work. If you want to check in with me today or Monday on a Google Meet, these are the times that I will be available today and Monday. Uh, if you want to email me, you can. If you need to shoot me a text message on my uh, Google Voice number, you can do that. This is my contact information right here. It's on the stream. Um, if you want to join the Remind by sending a text uh, to 81010. And then um, you can put in this code at CyberSec for Cybersecurity 8. And then I can send you text messages on there where um you know i send out class notices and things like that but that is my contact information uh, these are our google meets for today and for monday so that you can uh, take care of assignments here i'm going to go back to the google meet and stop presenting um melissa do you have any questions Okay, um, and there aren't any virtuals on right now. So again, if you have questions, use the contact information to get in touch with me. All right, you guys get this done. It's not very much longer till we're out.